Hey guys, so before I get started, I just want to make sure that we have a couple things set up on the Fire TV first. Um, if you followed any of my other tutorials, you probably have already been familiar with this. But anyways, um, in order to start using ADB, we got to make a couple, uh, make sure a couple settings are are proper here on the Fire TV. So we'll go down to settings, and you want to go to system. I don't know if you can see that; it's kind of blurred out. Um, and then you want to go down to developer options here. And from here, you want to make sure that ADB debugging and apps from unknown uh, sources are on. Uh, other than that, uh, before we go, I think it's probably a good idea. If you don't know it already, you'll want to get the uh, IP address of your device. So as you see, mine's probably uh, 192.168.1.75. So we'll use that as soon as we connect to the Fire TV through ADB Fire. All right, now that we've got everything set up on the Fire TV, we've turned on ADB debugging, we've turned on apps from unknown sources, we've got our IP address, so now we move into using the actual program ADB Fire. If you've never used it before, I'm going to assume that uh, this is kind of a beginner's guide because if you have used it before, it's pretty straightforward and you'll probably know already what you're doing. So from here, uh, I, this is the latest version, it's version 2. Um, the newer version has changed from the older version. The old version had things like Llama options, and you may notice that in some of my older tutorials. Um, the new, the reason it's changed is because Fire TV has a new version itself. There's a version two which comes with 4K video support and whatnot. So they've got rid of certain features and they've added some new stuff like this Fire Starter, which I have a video on coming very very shortly. Uh, I'll show you how to use it and why you should install it and why it rocks more or less. Um, but anyways, this is to install Kodi, so what we got to do first and foremost is set up our Fire TV. So from here we just hit New. Uh, in the description I always add basically the location. So mine's in the bedroom right now, 192, and then the, ad the address is the IP address. So 192.168.1.75. All you got to do is hit Save, and then we just connect. And as you'll see here, connected devices, we're good to go. And really all you have to do now is just hit install APK. Uh, I've already downloaded Kodi. Uh, I was going to show you, but for some reason I can't. Like the, the Kodi website is being awfully slow today, and I just couldn't connect. But anyways, when you go on to the Kodi website, it's kodi.tv slash download. You want to find the Android version, and you want to download the ARM version. So right now it's Kodi 15.2, uh, and it should be an APK. So you just hit that. You hit open. You want to hit yes, and as you'll see down here, it says ADB running. You'll get a progress meter, and from here, it's it might take some time. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm just going to kind of let the video go as it's installing. Uh, I'll just kind of run over some of the stuff here. So the old version had something called Llama Options, which you could use to install uh, shortcut and some other features and that's since kind of been removed unless I'm miss missing it somewhere but they've replaced it kind of with this thing called fire starter which is kind of like an uh, an app drawer which basically it's kind of like it would replace the fire tv home screen um, I it's just, it's very easy to install um, and I'll show you in a video why you want to use it and or why I recommend on using it um, basically you can from your remote you can Double click and just open Kodi that way. Uh, it's it's a much simpler solution than having to go through the Icono TV and whatnot. And like I say, if you have a new version uh, version two Fire TV, you won't be able to do it anyways. All right, so now you get an installed message that Kodi has been installed, and and that's basically it. You're done from from here. You've installed Kodi, and the way you can check is you can go into your Fire TV. Uh, you won't have an app shortcut on the home screen quite yet. So, but if you want to check to see make sure it's working, you just go down to settings, and then from there you want to go over to applications. And in applications, there should be an option and that's called manage installed applications. And in there, you should see Kodi. You click it, you'll launch the application, and you should have Kodi installed. And that's it. If you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below.